my lovelies, welcome to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the newest videos going up. All right, let's get into the reading. This is going to be the monthly reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Virgo? I hope you guys are as excited and ecstatic as I am as we are in my favorite time of the year where all the holidays start to roll in especially Hallow's Eve. So I am definitely curious and interested if you guys celebrate. And if you do, comment below. Let me know what is it that you guys do. Is there any traditions or anything that you usually do every year around this time? All right, let's get into it. Let's see what is unfolding for Virgos. Spirit gets ancestors and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly. For Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me four cards to represent Earth, Air, Fire, Water. What is unfolding for Virgos here today for this month of October 2022? Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Here we go. One more shuffle. Thank you, spirits. All right. Element of Earth. We have the six. Sorry, not the six. I thought it was the six of wands. The chariot. Um, this is in your earth position. So chariot is being in control, being extremely dominant or having the ability to dominate your career, your business, or the company where you work at. This is definitely a positive card because it represents basically this month is really up to you, Virgo, what you want to make happen in your work field, whether it's you running your own business, whether it's you working for a company Whatever it is that you do, you are dominating that um, you are dominating that position. So what they're telling you here is definitely go for what you're wanting to make happen. If you're wanting to stand out and get recognition, now is the time to really step up. Perhaps take on doing more than is usually expected of you. This is you don't have to try very hard with the chariot. Uh, you're definitely moving forward and you are definitely being um very well received so again very very positive energy here i also do see opportunities coming your way um multiple opportunities but i see two particular opportunities one may be outside of where you're working at right now it could be an opportunity that pops up or it could be that someone comes to you with an offer in regards to finances this could be doing something on the side whatever it is that you decide to do definitely move forward and if you do decide to move forward uh, really do it, commit yourself to it because success is there. Now, in regards to communication, the element of air, we have the two of cups. So very well received energy. This is being supported. This is being, um, like I said, very well received type of energy. This is those of the people that really care about you. Uh, very understanding type of energy. This is beautiful energy. Honestly, I don't see any struggles or difficulties in regards to communication. Uh, this can also represent that you're moving towards a new cycle in your life, Virgo, uh, especially connected or there's some type of connection here with the full moon. Um, so for some of you guys, it could be that uh, this passing full moon or uh, this full moon that we're going to be experiencing may be highlighting your seventh, uh, your seventh house, um, which is partnerships, relationships, etc. So again, uh, a lot of opportunities to connect, a lot of opportunities for those of you guys that are single, a lot of opportunities um, to actually be able to connect or to uh, start to experience a connection that will be unfolding and it's unfolding rather quickly. Um, so again, if you guys are single, now is the time to really put yourselves out there. Uh, like I said, something about this full moon is in connection or is highlighting or maybe reflecting your seventh house, uh, the house of relationships. So uh, positive, positive energy here. Now, in regards to the challenge, um, I see you very reserved, Cancer. Um, this could be the reason why they're telling you it's time to step out of your comfort zone. Seven of Wands always indicates standing your ground and being a bit protective, but this is a challenge. So the challenge for this month is to get out of that protective energy, get out of that comfort zone. Only through comfort zone will you find routine. If you step out of your comfort zone, you're able to experience or have new experiences that open up opportunities. It's almost like being at the right time with the right people 
or connecting or for some of you guys there could be a relationship or a connection partnership that may be flourishing in this month of october but you have to get out of your comfort zone stop being so guarded cancer now in regards to the element of water with communication sorry uh with relationships and emotions we have the page of swords so some uh someone definitely has their eye on you or has been watching your social medias looking at what you're doing perhaps asking about you or getting information about you. I feel like there is a particular person that has noticed you and you will be hearing about it in October. You will be hearing about it in this month. So let's see what Spirit's final message is here for Cancers, sorry, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is Virgo's Spirit message? What is their final message here? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sorry if I was saying Cancer. I just finished doing a Cancer reading, so it could be the reason why I kept saying Cancer. For some of you guys, you may be connecting with a Cancer, as we do have here the Chariot card, which symbolizes the sign of Cancer. All right, let's see what Spirit's final message here. We have Walking Away. So walking away from a cycle that is no longer assisting you, no longer helping you progress, this could be walking away from the energy of that of comfortability, the energy of uh, routine. Be a little bit more spontaneous for this month of October. Um, Virgo, this is going to bring to you a lot of new opportunities, and it, they are opportunities that otherwise you would not be able to experience if you stay in your comfort zone. Okay, my lovelies? All right, I wanna wish you guys the very best and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.